Being Kentuckiana proud is about highlighting the people, places and things in our community often overlooked. But it's hard not to overlook something that quite literally could be lurking underneath the surface. This morning, we're digging into an old urban legend that I've proudly told about a human eating bottom feeder in the Ohio River. I'm gonna try to catch Alonso Chappelle. That's what I'm gonna do. Is on a mission. That's the thrill of it, trying to catch the biggest fish you can. While he waits, we ask him if he remembers a massive fish tail. I've heard it once before, but I don't know how true it is, but it's, I know it's some pretty big fish out here. You never know what you're gonna catch in the Ohio River. As the legend goes, there's a catfish the size of a Volkswagen exploring the depths of the Ohio River until an unsuspecting child or diver crosses its path and is never seen again. No one's ever asked me officially, like as part of my job about it. Philip Kakmar is the Big Rivers Fisheries Biologist for the Indiana Department of Natural Resources. Personally, I've heard that when I was living in Wisconsin and Tennessee. I've talked to people out of Missouri and Arkansas who've heard relatively the same story, always below a dam or, or a bridge, depending on where you are in the states. So not unique to our river, state or region, but does that mean giant catfish are lurking in all our major waterways? That's the thing over in uh, Asia and also um, like wells, I guess, the yeah. wells catfish, they can get massive and they can eat bigger things but you know <laughs> come on i mean that's the thing that is close to probably about a 250 pound fish and it's still not big enough yeah like maybe an infant or something you know maybe yeah. a maybe an infant or like that but hopefully people aren't letting their infants go into the river philip says the cautionary part of the legend the don't swim alone or dive too deep or after dark or else aspect could be what created the legend in the first place. It's a lot easier to blame a catfish than people's own uh, issues, I'll say. As in, it's a lot easier if someone goes missing or someone drowns to blame that a catfish ate them opposed to the river current took them in or something else like was the reason why they passed away. So no, there aren't giant catfish lurking, ready to swallow you whole. Maybe it's not even that it grew that big, but there's something in the river that like radioactively, like Spider-Man effect. Oh, I'm not gonna comment on that one. I'm not touching that one, I'm sorry. <laughs> At least none that we've seen quite yet. I knew it was something, I knew it was something out there. To find the full interviews from the story and more Kentucky and a Proud content, you can visit the story on our website, whas11.com.